हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू आवर सेरीज वी प्रीवियसली हैव लर्न अबाउट सिंगल लेवल इनहेरिटेंस एंड मल्टी लेवल इनहेरिटेंस वी विल लर्न अबाउट मोर टू इनहेरिटेंस इन दिस वीडियो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल एक्सप्लेन बोथ ऑफ दिस इनहेरिटेंस दैट इज मल्टीपल इनहेरिटेंस एंड हिरार्किकल इनहेरिटेंस लेट्स नो अबाउट मल्टीपल इनहेरिटेंस देर आर सपोज टू क्लास this is a and this is b now there is another class which is taking the properties of b and a both but this b is not taking the properties or feature of a or a is not taking the feature of b that means it is taking the feature of two class but they these two class are not th the friend of each other but they are friend with third person that is c this is a multiple inheritance now learn about hierarchical inheritance in hierarchical inheritance suppose this is a and suppose there are two class two more class that are b and c a is giving its feature to both class b and c and b is b and c are not the friend of this class means we are gi giving to two class here but in multiple class we are taking from two class now implementing multiple level here i will create a class here class pen i will initialize protected int a comma b let's take input here i will print output in one file because we are getting from two level in air void sorry as void input 1 equal to i will simply input only one variable here not two variable see out enter a i terminate it and seen a let's make another class class pencil pencil and it take b we can says anything here price company anything here input to this is function this is method or function you can do see out enter b let's see in b let's make third class class we said c public public pen comma pencil let's make this class because we are publicing two class here taking two class here now i want to declare here int c here pen from pen input 1 and from pencil this is input 2 same as before and i will again see out enter c let's see in 
and I will print C in C and there will be void no here should be on another void input 3 and let's delete and enter here and void output it will print all the element here I will take here D it will D is equal to A plus B plus C simply I will add them and C out sum of of all variable of all class is equal to D E and D L let's end the line and I will make class here C object OBJ with C object I will make I will simply call obj dot here input 3 and obj dot output I just want to print it first of all and let's see now this c is getting the characteristics of both a and b here let's run and see it we are getting here some error pen pencil here we should make protected save and pencil b within private pencil b within private and other error we will look yes this is again private here let's make this private sorry this is this is this is private sorry we have to initialize here and they are all are public public we'll save and run it it should not give error now it is again giving me input pen yes have to make this public public save build and run it again I am getting pen input C cannot uh, declare member pencil and giving me this is wrong one we should use like this let's me solve this here check it here yes here is we should make public it public save it run it again it is giving me some problem class c we have to public it but it is giving me error why it is giving me error I, I am not getting that error here so I have got the error here I have I am I have removed it as yes, I am forget because I am so in I have the pressure here we have to declare that function inside the function pen is to input 1 and pencil input 2 let's 
we will then run it sorry this should not come here but it is cam it should not yes we get enter 4 5 6 and result is 6 5, 4 10 and 15 this is how we can make a multiple inheritance and i want to make a hybrid inheritance no hybrid we are we have studied something else now that is hierarchical we will learn about hybrid too now learn about hierarchical you in hybrid i will not make the program you will make that program if you get the problem comment in the video let's make we have to make three class but now here it will get in this will be get in this the class pencil will be private here private now i will i should public here pen means i am getting this data here but i am getting only i should get a pen here because we are getting data from one class to different class in hierarchical let's public only this and here pen and input one here i will process one another output wide output one and i will make here here should this should be in public mode public mode let's see a uh, let's make another variable here that is we have already declared d i will declare e e is equal to a plus b c out sum of a and b is equal to e let's e and sorry and the line next in this class we will print a and c we have already the class here and simply d sum of a and c this is getting from here we have to initialize two object here we have to initialize another object called pn pencil and pn cil pencil i will make pencil of object pencil i will first print pencil pencil dot what is this maybe input to this may be input to input to yes it is input to now i have to make pencil dot output one and let's run it a is equal to two and b is equal to four sorry two and c is equal to three it is printing two time two times here because we are calling this from different name yeah different column if we make this variable assigning first then we can make here if we make i am making a two times here two two and i am changing the c value here and we can assess this data in multiple times this is the benefit of inheritance we are getting this data in this function also and 
this function also we are using the same data in different form i will describe about hybrid inheritance hybrid means mixing of two inheritance suppose there is one inheritance a b and c a is giving its feature to b b is giving its feature to c but c is not sufficiently getting more feature from a so it is taking from another variable that is called d other class that is d this is called inheritance here this is it is indirect inheritance or multi level inheritance and this is multiple inheritance this is multi level and this is multiple inheritance sorry this is single level because it is giving directly here and it is again giving to next class and there may be other also and it may give a to b b to c and i will expand it and c to d d and another variable may be e is giving to d means this is indirect this is indirect because it is getting indirect and here this is multiple you can may create this class here and this class this class and it will get it will public this and it will public this and it will public this both classes this is more about inheritance we will stop this we will stop this series after couples of videos because we will study about more about inheritance sorry of paradigm in further classes we will we are learning about basic now we will learn about something constructor destructor and overloading of function and overloading of operators in this series not more than that because we have covered maximum of these things and this is how we can make a program in c++ thank you for watching this video maybe we will study about dynamic binding too thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe our channel for helping us thank you